Russia loses from 40 to 50 units of artillery systems in Ukraine. Ukrainian military expert Serhii Zaguretz says that the new Russian weapons are in the Ukrainian army's constant crosshairs. He said this on Espresso TV. Russia is deploying both old and new models from its arsenal. The 2S43 Malva self-propelled howitzer, tested in Russia in 2023 and recently appearing on the battlefield, was destroyed by a Ukrainian drone from the Achilles Battalion in the Lybok Lipsy area of the Kharkiv region. That is, there was a precise hit on a new Russian artillery system. A week ago, photos were published showing the Malva system damaged by HIMARS strikes, Zaguretz said. According to the military expert, new models of Russian weapons are under constant attack by Ukrainian forces. The general staff reports show a significant number of destroyed Russian artillery systems, which ranges from 40 to 50 units per day. This demonstrates the effectiveness of counter-battery work on the Ukrainian side, as well as the use of various methods to destroy Russian artillery systems, emphasized Zguretz. The artillery war in Ukraine may be shifting, with indications that the Ukrainians are destroying Russian guns at a greatly increased rate. If these indications are accurate, it could mark a turning point in the war. It may also be a sign that traditional artillery is vulnerable to new weapons. Shortcomings in quality of equipment and personnel in tank and infantry units can be made up for by sufficient artillery firepower. Taking towns street by street requires highly trained and disciplined infantry, but instead Russia can simply use its artillery to level block after block. In the attack is Russian artillery, which does most of the damage, and Russia's advantage in artillery makes Ukrainian counter-offensives expensive. Russia has staggering amounts of artillery both in the field and in reserve. Losses have been replaced by reserve stocks drawn from vast open-air storage yards, mainly Soviet-era equipment, which can be seen and counted on high-resolution satellite images. At the start of the conflict, Russia had some 19,000 artillery pieces in storage, but many of these were unusable after decades of rusting in open air. Russia's northern fleet may strike Britain with nuclear missiles, Kremlin propagandist. A Kremlin propagandist has said which European cities might be targeted by Russian nuclear missiles, adding that the UK would be the most vulnerable to such strikes. Yevgeny Popov is among the anchors and guests on Russia's state television who have made repeated threats against Western countries for their support of Ukraine in its fight against Russian President Vladimir Putin's aggression, according to Newsweek. It is noted that this hawkish rhetoric frequently includes calls for missile strikes on European capitals, although the effects of Russia's use of weapons may be exaggerated and it is not clear how the claims by TV guests reflect Kremlin thinking. However, Popov returned to this theme in reacting to the pledge by Washington and Berlin that, as part of its commitment to NATO, the US will start deploying long-range missiles in Germany in 2026. This would include stationing SM-6 and Tomahawk cruise missiles, as well as developmental hypersonic weapons. In a clip posted on X by Ukrainian internal affairs advisor Anton Gerashchenko, Popov, who is a deputy of the 8th State Duma in Russia, accused the US of throwing Europe into the melting pot of a world war with guaranteed mutual destruction. Standing in front of a video wall of a map of Europe, Popov said that the Pentagon will deploy missiles that pose a dire threat to Russia. He added that the weapons have the ability to reach cities such as St. Petersburg, Kazan, Moscow, Novosibirsk and Yekaterinburg, whose locations lit up on the screen behind him. We are talking about missiles that fall under the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, which was destroyed by Trump, Popov said, referring to how the US withdrew from the Arms Control Treaty in 2019. It is not difficult to assume the geography of a response if the White House press statement becomes a reality. All European capitals are at risk if our missiles are in Kaliningrad, Popov said, referring to the Russian exclave that is bordered by NATO's members Poland and Lithuania in the Baltic Sea. These capitals include Berlin in Germany, Warsaw, Poland, Paris, France, Bucharest, Romania and Prague, Czech Republic, as well as American bases in Germany, which are then shown on the screen in quick succession. 
Popov said that Russia's northern fleet will take on Britain, our traditional enemy, and that Washington's proposals for deployment to Germany not only threatens London but also Manchester, Birmingham and British naval base in Clyde, Scotland.